Hi guys, it's Goddess Gale. Today I'm gonna do the review for the fragrance and this one is a Dior in the private line. This one I got a sample when I bought the actual bottle. I bought the Grey Dior and Dior Amour I think and they gave me for this one. This one is 7.5 ml so I think that's a lot so why not. This one is Lucky. So the packaging and the box is exactly the same as the big bottle. It's just smaller. So cute. Look at it guys. So I think the actual box might have that kind of green color. This one is almost white. What a good day to do a review for the big one. Oh my god this one. This one reminds me a lot for the Jadra again. But I feel like this one is a fresh bouquet, super fresh and warm. This one, I would say that it's the brightest white floral fragrance that I have tried. I mean like this is the freshest fragrance that I have ever tried. Ah, oh, it's not a spray. I to do this. Two drops on my skin. I don't know how to put on my clothes, I'm sorry. So the notes in here are kind of basic, Lily of the Valley, white flowers, a sonic note, I don't know what that means but this means like smell like sunny weather, sky or whatever. This is the freshest fragrance ever. The lily of the valley in here is so beautiful. I think this one that just followed the trend for the lily of the valley. Right now Dior just kind of promotes to have that on the notes. But I feel like I enjoy it. It's simple, clean, fresh and beautiful fragrance. But I talked to my friends and they said it is nice but it's not complex. Like they don't have a lot of dimension or a lot of notes to be different by time but it depends on people so I think this one if you like that clean and fresh smell why not I enjoy it so much even though I don't like it as much as Jojo because that one is more complex yes but this one is a beautiful fragrance and today I'm gonna do the wrap test Right now it's almost 10. I'll be right back. Hi guys, welcome back. Right now it's 6 a.m. It's been 8 hours. Oh my god guys, it's still last pretty strong. So I think this one is a super strong and long lasting fragrance. It's been 8 hours. Is still on me kind of strongly. I used to put on my bedtime and it lasts till the morning I wake up. The freshest white floral fragrance that I have ever tried and it's kind of warm also so it gives you that kind of sunny weather kind of happy feeling going out type of thing. And this one, I think the concept is that it's lucky. When you put it on, you feel lucky and you attract good thing and you're being lucky in your life. And the thing is, the smell does kind of match the name. What I feel is that it might be too warm and a little bit too fresh for some people. And I agree with one of my friends that they say that it's not complex. But it's up to you guys if you would like that kind of clean, easy smelling just like some of the Jo Malone fragrance. They're kind of classy, simple and clean. And this one is kind of like that. So I will leave it to you guys. It's not that complex. It's just white floral and warm and fresh fragrance. So that's it guys. My quick review for this Dior fragrance. Thank you so much for watching. Mm-hmm.